To understand our students and ourselves a little better, we need to consider our personality types. The information I'm about to share regarding personalities was taken from a book written by Gary Smalley and John Trent called The Two Sides of Love. To make it easier to make a connection, each personality type was given an animal name. The first is the lion, or dominant personality. Lions are very comfortable stepping up to be leaders, and they don't mind taking charge or telling people what to do. They have a natural personality to get the job done. They are confident in a lot of areas and don't mind taking risks. They have a natural confidence, believing that they can handle anything. They get the job done and will overcome any obstacles to do it because they are very task oriented. Lions are very straightforward. They tell you exactly what they want and don't mince any words. They don't care a lot for details. They'd much rather someone else handle them. They're extroverts. Being an extrovert or introvert is determined by what being around other people does to your energy level. If you're charged up by being around others, then you're an extrovert. If your energy is drained when you're around others, then you're an introvert. Lions are risk takers. They'll do things that other people won't. They have enough ego strength that if they fail at something, they'll just try something else to see if that works. Lions can be confrontational. If things are not on task, they will get in your face about getting it done. They're opinionated. They have definite opinions and are more than willing to share theirs with you. Since they're task oriented, they'll be impatient if you're in the way of getting things done. And when things are not going their way, they can be controlling, manipulative, or even bossy. The Apostle Paul was this kind of personality. He was a take charge kind of guy ready to get the gospel to the world. It didn't matter if he was thrown in prison or shipwrecked or beaten. He was going to get the job done. In the Old Testament, Abraham's wife Sarah had this take charge personality. She told him to get rid of that slave woman. She was not the typical submissive wife we usually see in the Old Testament. The primary need of the lion is to be respected. The second personality type is the otter or influencer personality. When you go to the zoo, you notice that the otter is always playing around wanting you to watch it, trying to entertain you. They are very sociable and the life of the party. Otters are very talkative and they always have a story to tell. They're very friendly and outgoing. They're encouraging, natural cheerleaders. They're the first with congratulations when you've done something well. They like to inspire you. They're team players. When there's a job to be done, they'd rather be on a committee than work alone. They get energy from other people. They're peacemakers. They hate conflict. They don't like people to be upset with each other. They want everyone to get along. They shy away from confrontation. They're very persuasive. They can talk you into anything. When they find something new that they're excited about, they want to tell you all about it so you'll be excited too. They're the public relations people for the church. They're not the most organized. Their workspace is usually a mess. They know what they want is in there somewhere. And as I said before, they don't like conflict. They're very interested in how they're perceived and sensitive to peer pressure. One of their highest goals is to be liked. 
they are careful not to do anything that will make people dislike them. The Apostle Peter and Barnabas, too, were this personality type. Barnabas' name means son of encouragement. Peter was a great leader but caved in to peer pressure. He didn't want to eat with the Gentiles when his Jewish brothers were around. He was concerned about what other people thought of him. Peter and Barnabas really exemplify the influencer personality. And again, their need is to feel liked. The third personality type is the golden retriever or the steady personality. Golden retrievers are the worker bees of the world. They like to get things done. They love stability and they like things to stay the way they've always been. They're dependable. They will get the job done no matter what. If they say they'll do something, you can count on it. They like routines and gravitate toward jobs that are repetitious. They will excel at factory work that would drive other people crazy. They are loyal. If you have one of these for a friend, you have a friend for life. They are orderly. They like all their ducks in a row and they, they don't like things to get out of order. They're predictable. They are so predictable that you know when they go to a restaurant they will always order the same thing. They like a controlled environment where there are not a lot of surprises and change going on. They're introverted. It doesn't bother them to be alone. That's how they get charged up. They like people, they just don't need to be around them all the time. They're very careful in the decisions that they make. They usually take some time to think it through. They just don't make hasty decisions. They like things to stay the same. They just don't handle change well. You can't get an argument out of these folks. Instead, they'll just clam up and walk away, but they'll come back later to discuss it. Abraham really stands out as this personality. He was very loyal and trusting of what God had for him to do. He was not a flashy kind of guy, but he became the father of the nation of Israel. In the New Testament, Martha is an example of a worker bee. The primary motivation for this personality is the need to feel safe. The last of our personalities is the beaver or the compliant personality. Their main goal is accuracy. They want to know how you want it done and they'll do it by the book. It's very important for them to be accurate. They don't care how long it takes as long as it's right. They're detailed people. They end up in jobs with lots of detail. They are accountants, bankers, doctors, areas where you want accuracy, not close enough. Beavers are the reason that instructions are in boxes. While everybody else fumbles around to put things together, the beavers actually read the instructions. They're analytical. They want to analyze problems from every angle. If this happens, then this will happen. They analyze in depth before they make decisions. They're task-oriented and want to get the job done like the lions, but the beavers want to make sure that it's done right also. They're introverted. They can work alone and they can be alone. They're cautious. They give careful consideration to decisions made. They love for things to follow through logically. It drives them crazy if it doesn't happen that way. They're perfectionists. Therefore, they value accuracy and want things done right. They often miss the big picture. 
Because they're so into detail, they become specialists. They get into a field and know everything there is to know about it, but miss where it fits into the whole scheme of things. They stuff their emotions, so much so that they just might blow up. Moses, Ruth, and also Esther were this personality. If we look at God's call for Moses to get his people out of Egypt, the first thing he did was analyze it. Who am I? What if Pharaoh doesn't listen to me? What if they ask your name? What if, what if? He tried to analyze the situation and figure out everything that could happen before he began the job. Ruth had this trait also. And Esther did too when Mordecai said she needed to talk to the king. She said, I can't unless he calls for me. What if I go and he doesn't receive me? What if? She was analyzing the situation also. Beavers are motivated by the need to be right. It's important to note that we're a combination of all of these personalities, but we usually have one type where we're dominant.